And with his chariots, like a whirlwind. Hey, the so-called UFOs, man. Hey, there ain't no big head green creatures in those uh, uh, them crafts, man. Those, those uh, chariots, man. Those uh, so-called black men with beards, man. Angels, man. Uh -huh. They are being driven by angels, man. Right. Uh, all right. And he saw Salaki. Go ahead, brother. He saw depict, send out that depiction and that vibration in the world because in reality, there's, like the brother said, there's Israelite angels in those chariots with afros, man. So Esau depict them as aliens with big heads, but Green. it's really it, afros, man. That's why a lot, when you see in these cathedrals and churches, you see uh, these white depictions of, you know, apostles and angels. They got these halos or, or, or these glows or auras uh, behind their head. You know, but really those are depictions of their afros, man. That's right, Because bro. when angels, in the ancient world, when you had angels came down to the prophet to actually speak with them and interact with them, that's that that was their depiction. They had the afros and their their glow of aura because of how righteous and pure they were. That's right, brother. All right, even what you saw as far as degrading the scriptures, you know, because we know that he he go to the scriptures to get everything. You know, uh, going to the movie Independence Day, you know, for the UFO or even Godzilla, you know, as far as the Leviathan, you know, okay. Yeah, because Esau, what Esau do is. We have faith, man. We read the scriptures and we go off of faith, man. Esau, he has to have concrete evidence. So when, when the scriptures say one thing, Esau going research it physically, man. Because he have, you know, he have the, the funds to do so. All right. So Esau know the truth, man. Because as I may always mention, all right, a, a lie is a perversion of the truth. In order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth. So that goes to show you Esau know the truth. Uh, like, you know, like those uh, cunningly, or, you know, devised fables. Or, you know, now that you mention it, or you know, you know, that's what he does, or you know, as far as or you know, science. Or you know, because um, you know, if you look at um or you know, evolution, like it sounds like a cunningly or you know, devised fable as far as you know all you know, kinda like how you know the table of nations are you know formed, or you know, how the Heavenly Father is only dealing with um you know one group of people that came out or you know, but he he's just like twisted around or you know. Big bang theory how everything was created, it was just an explosion, and that, this is how this came to, uh, came to pass. Like, hey, man, go ahead, brother. It says, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's how the Lord coming, man. The Lord coming with flames of fire. He coming with anger. Psalm 7 and 11 says the Lord is angry at the wicked every, every day, day, man. Because every day is wickedness being established, man. Look at who ruling. You got a man that's cursed with leprosy ruling over the earth, man. You think the Lord not angry at that? His people going off constantly, willfully, going against his laws, worshiping false idols, man. You think the Lord okay with this, man? No, he going to come back with anger and rebukes of fire. He going to rebuke two-thirds of his nation with flames of fire, man. And another reason why the Lord is just more angry is because the truth is back in the earth. The truth is back in the earth, man. That we are the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right, that's why the Lord is angry, man. All right, look at look look what's go, look what look at what's going on in this society, man. Look at the things that our people is doing, man. And here it is, the truth is back in the earth, man. And you and you basically, our people stiff arm, and the Lord basically telling the Lord, look, we don't need your assistance, we good. So we gonna see if you keep that same energy, man, when Jacob's trouble hit. But go ahead, brother. No, the brother got one. Oh, go ahead, brother. This is um, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 6. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perish. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. There it goes. So back in the ancient days, during the time of Noah, if a brother can grab that in Matthew, uh -huh. All right, during the time of Noah, man, the Lord brought a flood through. And what happened, man? Noah was prophesied, I believe, for 100 years. Uh, All right, before the flood came, tell, and, and, and what? It never had rain before. So the people said, what? Rain? Yeah, what is rain? It never rained before. All right, and what happened? The Lord brought that flood through. But this time, what? The Lord is going to bring fire through. Uh, and it say, reserve unto fire against the day of judgment. This is the day of judgment, man. And perdition. Of ungodly men. Go ahead, brother. And perditions mean destruction. Destruction. So you people that's not following the ways of the Heavenly Father, you know, not following the ways of the Lord, not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your, your ability, you go get you go get destroyed, man. You know? You go get destroyed when the Lord come back. You know? I'ma um skip. 
I, 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 I'm gonna um, so I'm, I'm gonna keep reading it say but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day the Lord is not slack concerning his promise see the lord is long suffering all right so a thousand years a thousand years is one day to the lord so you know while we you know come oh man we 400 years like hey man that's only like a half a day to y'all about shimmy i was almost a half a day man so hey man you know hey hey even your house shot was crucified uh two days ago it's according to rest. yeah because i like through all my studies i don't know uh, i'm gonna have to double check my concordance at home all right but one of the things i found i you know, you know as far as you know that word day it's not necessarily always, um, you know, 24 hours or, you know, it just means, or, you know, um, you know, any type of like, like a breath or, you know, it was just, or, you know, it can, um, it could be like any, it's just a period of time, uh, basically. Uh, it say, um, as some man count slackness, but it's long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Hey, so the Lord rather, you know, the, the children of Israel, you know, the 12 tribes, not you uh, uh, heathens, all right? Because a heathen only means that you're not an Israelite, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord rather we all come to repentance, all right? But the Lord knows that two-thirds of our people are not going to come to repentance, which repentance is only for who? Israel, all right? But uh, you had that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you can say something, brother. Go ahead. No, it was a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night Woo! in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise the lord coming as a thief in the night man hey, hey like a, hey, a thief don't be like hey look brother i'm gonna come and take your uh flat screen television at, at four o'clock man that's how that, a thief doesn't move like that man the how about see me i was shot is gonna come as a thief which means hey man he gonna snatch your spirit from you man when you least expect it man you go, you go, when you get caught slipping, it's like when you taking a piss, man, out, out, out in the public place, and you get caught by the police officers, man. That's how the Lord gonna come, man. When you say, oh, man, let me just go have sex with this man's woman one more time, man, and then I'm gonna get it right. That's when the Lord gonna come. Or let me just eat this last bacon sandwich, you know, one, one last time, and I'm gonna stop eating pork. That's when the Lord gonna come, man. Or I just gotta go to church one more time, man. Just to, just to, just to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm battling, man. I, I just got to go to church one more time and see what my spirit is. It, it, it's a point to this direction. or that, That's when the Lord going to come. We you don't have time, man. It say, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And everything is made out of elements, man. Everything is made out of elements, man. Which means everything going to be destroyed here in America, man. All right? Everything, man. Hey, you think the coronavirus, son, man, that's just the beginning and the scriptures called it the beginning of sorrows. This is only the beginning, man. All right, go ahead, brother. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And what's the works here in America, man? Homosexuality, man. All right. Feminism, man. All right. The white supremacy, man. Christianity, man. Adultery. Adultery. Wickedness, man. False idol worshiping, man. All right, this is, this is the works done here in America, man. And that's why the Lord got to burn this place up, man. Wait. It's Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And this destruction is coming from the Almighty, man. We're not out here saying that we're about to destroy America. Hey, we about to destroy America. No, you how about see me out shot, man? The Lord and his son is about to destroy America with the angels, man. That's who about to destroy America, man. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right, those 200 million, 200 million nuclear warheads, man, is about to hit America according to the Bible, man. So like I said before, the coronavirus is just the beginning, man. The Lord is about to send plagues on this place like he sent plagues on ancient Egypt, man. For the captivity of the Israelites, man. Let's go, brothers. Verse 7, therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. Yeah, you people going to melt, man, in that day, man. You people ain't going to know what to do, man. Your mind is going to be racing, man. You, you got kids. You ain't going to be able to protect them. You men ain't going to be able to protect your woman, you mama's boys. You ain't going to be able to protect your mama. You ain't going to be able to protect your father. You ain't going to be able to protect yourself, man. That's what's coming to America, man. Go ahead, brother. I'm going to jump down to verse 9 real quick. That's right. I'm going to let you get it, bro. It said, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel both with cruel. wrath and fierce anger. Cruel wrath, man. To lay the land desolate. So the Lord is coming to lay this land desolate, man. 
This ain't gonna be the movies where a destruction happened and then out the blue, somebody crawled from out of the tunnel and they survived.